Hello there. What's going on guys, unofficial Star Wars here. Hope you're all doing well. And in today's video, we're going to be talking about the Mandalorian and really the overall future for what the Mandalorian's character, Din Djarin and Pedro Pascal, as the actor, have to really share and say about the future of this character and the overall franchise, as well as an interview here from Jon Favreau this year coming from the direct. So without further ado, we're going to hop right on into it. Of course, as we all know, it's a very heavy, big theme playing out in the Mandalorian show and within the Mandalorian universe that, you know, being a Mandalorian, you can't necessarily take off your helmet and it's a complicated type of thing out there i feel like for one thing it definitely has and i feel like furthermore it deserves its own explanation of exactly how it fully works here and it's something to really be covered into a separate video but it is definitely a very major heavy theme that is played out throughout the overall mandalorian universe and i personally really thought that we were starting to kind of stray away from that type of aspects and ideas with the mandalorian universe especially going on for mando season three but as we did see in the book of boba fett it's still a very relevant thing that's playing out in the Mandalorian's character of Din Djarin. In an interview with the direct, Jon Favreau, the showrunner and the writer of The Mandalorian season one and season two, in quotes, as I pitched the first pitching for The Mandalorian story in November of 2017 and figuring out what I wanted the show to look like, I gave myself the freedom to tell the story that I wanted to tell. And to his credit, Dave Filoni never said, oh, you can't have Mandalorians not removing their helmets be the rule. We've already established that they can remove their helmets. Favreau even said that he portrayed a Mandalorian character, that being Pre Vizsla in the Clone Wars television series, whose helmet was off all the time. End quote there, of course. So as I explained at the beginning of the video, it's a much more complex ideal type of thing of that we honestly need to go more in depth into a separate video here on the channel to talk about, about how and why and how come Mandalorians, or at least certain Mandalorians, don't necessarily take off their helmets all the time. John Favreau furthermore went on in the interview to say, but there were a few things that I wanted to explore. One was, why didn't we see a lot of Mandalorians in the original trilogy and in the sequels? You see them so much in Clone Wars, but you don't see any of them now. The other was, how do you get back to what George Lucas did, which was treat the characters almost like action figures? How do you get back to how young kids interact with Star Wars, the colors, and the shapes and characters? By keeping the Mandalorian's helmet on all the time, it's not about the face under it, it's about the helmet. Same with Boba Fett. You just don't think about what's underneath the helmet. You think about the mysterious silhouette. John Favreau furthermore went on to say I wanted to preserve the magic of that and return to it at that knowing full well that we would get complex and more complex into it later with storytelling that were are some groups that are evolved like bo Catton's group that are dealing more with politics at the moment having those two meet each other and be contended with one another was a way to address that furthermore into actual furthermore storytelling end quote there as well there for favreau very very interesting things he has to say so overall the overall ideally ideology here of surrounding the overall Mandalorian's creed of keeping his helmet on pretty much 24-7 is for one thing to almost in quotes kind of rebrand Star Wars and give rebirth to Star Wars after the kind of uh, controversial thoughts and opinions of what the Star Wars Disney's uh, sequel trilogy went on with. And so essentially by having this character be essentially famous for his cover of his helmet and his helmet as a whole, he's symbolized by his helmet, it gives a new meaning or a new standard towards what you think of when you think of Star Wars. So with that, maybe maybe thinking back a couple years ago, maybe for when Star Wars was first introduced back in the 70s with A New Hope, when you thought of Star Wars and the original trilogy, you probably thought of Darth Vader in his helmet or maybe R2-D2. And maybe for the prequel era, it's maybe a clone trooper or a battle droid or something like that. It's just characters that are faceless, that have helmets. So as I had said and explained, it's almost like giving a rebirth of a symbolism for what Star Wars is and maybe giving it a new meaning and at the same time of having it play a more, I guess, significant role here in this future of Star Wars with having it actually play into storytelling as we do know so far that there are kind of different creeds of Mandalorians that have different beliefs whether it's Death Watch or maybe the Night Owls or whatever the case may be. It's definitely very interesting and I'm glad that they're speaking about this whole ideology of the Mandalorian's helmet and how it plays a significant role into the future of not only the Mandalorian universe but also the overall Star Wars franchise as a whole and how it gives a whole new purpose and meaning. I for one as a Star Wars fan I'm definitely looking forward to seeing how it's more or less explained into the Star Wars spectrum of things in the Mandalorian universe and the overall Star Wars franchise and universe as a whole as well. For right now, as
as of right now, it's really just there for marketing reasons. But to see how it's going to play out into the actual story, I think is something that a lot of us Star Wars fans are really looking forward to, especially with The Mandalorian Season 3 coming up. And as I had mentioned, it honestly deserves a whole separate video to explain the different creeds and all that kind of stuff going on here with the Mandalorian universe and Star Wars franchise here with Mandalorians and what their deal is with the helmets, taking them off, not taking them off, whatever the case may be. And as I said, said it's something I'm going to cover in a separate video, so make sure you guys are subscribed to the channel and hit the notification bell if you haven't already to be notified when the new videos do come out. Of course, I want all of your thoughts and opinions down in the comment section down below, guys. What do you guys think about the overall Mandalorian ideology of him keeping his helmet on and keeping his face covered here as a marketing tool, more or less? I'd absolutely love to hear what you guys all think in the comment section down below. Drop a like in the video if you enjoy it, as it really does help with the channel, and check out our Instagram, unofficial Star Wars, for more Star Wars the content, guys. Thanks so much for watching today's video. As always, may the force be with you. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.